breaking news that's going on, revamping the image of a mall with 12 new stores coming to the borderland. The mall has been referred to as the Ghost Mall. Ever since I moved here last July, it's looking to get back in business after the pandemic lockdown by opening seven new food court options and also five new stores. And the new additions range from Boba Tea Place to a fabric store as well, sure to pique the interest of a variety of customers. And some Weeks after Sunland Park Mall added some new stores to revamp its image, its owner, Washington Prime Group, is filing for bankruptcy. The group owns more than 100 locations across the U.S. including. Mm -hmm. Well, this is their idea of revamping, painting the whole front gray. If you remember on my last visit two years ago, this was all pink. But you'll see inside is still the same. I don't think they could ever afford to get rid of all the pink tile. That is still what makes up the inside of Sunland Park Mall. Let's go through the mall and see what updates they have. Like I said, it's been two years since my last video. I saw that they added a volleyball court inside. I'm not sure if this is like a private or school run league. I'm not sure. Now this is a great store, the Red Door Vintage. They have all kinds of spooky stuff. <laughs> This mall just has such a great 80s aesthetic. It would be such a great spot to like film some kind of period movie that was set in the 80s. Oh, I thought that was hilarious because I love Cobra Kai. A dojo in a mall. Mm-hmm. My favorite non-functioning fountain. A highlight of the Sunland Park Mall. As you'll see here, one of the additions they added to Sound Stage 9, it's actually a recording studio and music school. I see their ads all the time uh, on Facebook and Instagram. Unfortunately, the place on the other side is still vacant. Still a lot of vacancies in this mall overall. It's pretty sad, but compared to the first video I made about the Sunland Park Mall, there are a lot of new businesses. There's quite a few on the second floor. Um, you'll see in a little bit. There's like an autism support center, a uh, support center for parents with special needs children, and another, I guess, kind of jungle gym, occupational therapy for kids with Down syndrome. It's very interesting, but it's pretty cool that they're all sorted together. This was our old Chick-fil-A mm, and hot dog on a stick, which is now Hot Dog House. We used to have a theater in this corner over there, there at the end, but it closed during COVID, I believe. Now I visited right when it opened during the week. I'm not sure I remember what day it was. <laughs> but um, so you'll see a lot of closed businesses, but they are functional. And now one of the greatest additions to the Sunland Park Mall, our very own Cat Cafe, where I bought myself a chai latte and I got to play with kittens. Enjoy! <laughs> 